I often get asked, why did I defer uni? And why did I write Why Me? So, Why Me is my short film based on bullying and the effects of it and lead up to suicide. So, this is the story of how all of this came about. So, some of you may know, I wasn't the brightest kid in school. My marks weren't the best. I got told that by certain people, I'd achieve nothing in life. I'd get nowhere in life. I wouldn't get my first preference into uni. No point doing exams because they wouldn't get me anywhere. So in the end, I didn't do exams because I was told those things. But yet again, that never stopped me. So instead of doing it the exam way and the ATAR way, I did it alternatively. I applied online to the uni and they turned around and said to me, okay, come on, come on down, we'll have an interview, bring some stuff along as most interviews ask you to bring. And a couple of weeks later, I got an email saying, congratulations, you've made it. As bad as I originally felt that people told me I'd get nowhere in life and that I'd never chase, I'd never be able to chase my dreams, it made me hungry and that hunger was for success that I had personally in me and that was driving me to chase my dreams and one thing I've learned is that dreams are meant to be chased no matter what I wasn't letting this dream get away from me because of what some people said about me what they thought or basically what they told me I'd never be able to achieve because I achieved it in the end. Yes, as time went on, the hunger wore off a lot. It went it got to the point of where my mental health wasn't in the right space and I just fell out of love with the industry and what I was doing. So that's how I came about deferring my course realistically but what a lot of people don't know is what happened next what happened next was I sat on my couch at home for ages thinking what am I going to do to get back in love with this because it's my dream I'm not letting it get away from me because my mental health I want I wanted to get it fixed and I wanted I just wanted it back so, in the end, I got a pad, got a pen, let my hand do all the work, and then I was flooded with ideas. And the first idea I mainly had was write a short film about bullying and write about your life. So, in the end, I wrote about my life. I wrote a lot of the stuff in Why Me is based on what I've personally experienced. And then after I started writing that, it, I just started falling back in love with it. And then the hunger I had came back. I had a different hunger because it was... Why Me is like my baby. I just had to complete it. I had to finish it. So I spent six months writing it, get it to where I want it. And now it's in the early pre-production stages of actually getting made, which thank you everyone that's supported me with it all. And it just means so much to me that a lot of people, family, friends, friends of my family, they all believe in me and this topic. And they believe that they believe in this idea that I had. But now I'm just going to finish off with this by saying one last thing. Not going to fuck around anymore. No matter how many times I was told I wouldn't make it or when I fell out of love with it. I learned that you never fail for how many times you've been knocked back. You only fail for when you stay down and don't get back up and chase your dreams. Now, I'm done preaching. I'm done telling you my life story. But... I just had to put that out there for everyone to know what actually happened, 
and how my short film came about. So, yet again, thank you to everyone that's helped me, supported me through it all. Either that was helping me write it or helping me mentally get back to where I wanted to be. So, thank you again.